Hello everyone, my name is teacher Patrick from Meadow English and today I'm going to share a story with you. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, for this storybook, it's called Please Do Not Sneeze. Do you know what sneeze means? It's like this. Achoo! That's, that's what a sneeze is. Okay, let's continue with the storybook, everyone. Anina was on the beach with Wilf and Wilma. It was sunny, but the sea was chilly. Do you guys know what chilly means? Chilly means cold, okay? It's too chilly to swim. There were lots of people on the beach. Wilf had a frisbee. Now a frisbee is a little plate that you can play with your friends. You can throw it around and as you throw it, your friends have to catch it. Okay? Catch! He called. Anina ran to catch the frisbee. She nearly ran into some children. The children looked upset. The children were lost. We can't see mommy and daddy, said the girl. The children were called Lily and Charlie. Anina and Wilma took them to the lost children's hut. We will wait with you until your mommy comes, said Anina. Let me tell you a story said Nina. In a far off land, there was a princess, but she had a problem. And the princess was called Sophie. The problem was her sneeze. When she sneezed, it sounded as if she was saying funny things like cheesy feet or stinky socks. <laughs> People said Sophie was shouting at them. They did not like it. She called me stinky feet. What a cheek. The queen was cross with Sophie. You need better manners, she said. <gasps> Mosey teeth! Sophie sneezed into her handkerchief. Even the king was cross with Sophie. Tut tut, he said. You bad girl. Sophie sneezed harder and harder. Oh no, remember boys and girls, when you sneeze, you have to cover your mouth, okay? I do not mean to be bad, said Sophie. Now, if you look at the storybook, Sophie is crying on her bed, okay? But when I sneeze, people think I am shouting at them. Hmm. Sophie was so unhappy that she ran off. She ran deep into the forest, but soon she was lost. She sat down on a bed of leaves. I will rest my head on these leaves, she said, and soon she fell asleep. She was asleep all night. To her relief, she did not sneeze at all. Sophie sat up with a start. A field mouse, an owl, and a donkey were looking at her. You must be the sneezing princess, said the little mouse. Yes, I am, said Sophie. But out here in the forest, I did not sneeze at all. People sneeze a lot said the donkey. There is too much dust in their houses. The king and queen ran up. Sophie, 
said the king. We have found you. What a relief. We must get rid of the dust, she said. Just then, Charlie saw his mummy. Charlie, Lily, she said. I have found you. What a relief. We did like the story, said Lily. Did Sophie stop sneezing? What do you think? Asked Anina. Yes, if they did the dusting. Now boys and girls, remember, when you sneeze, you have to cover your mouth and your nose, okay? And make sure you use a tissue or a handkerchief. All right, did you guys like the story? Well, I hope you did because I enjoyed it. I actually love the story. And I hope I get to read more storybooks with you guys next time. But until then, bye-bye.